best view of Amsterdam. Yeah, happy healthy start of 2016. Lemon water over here, oatmeal over there. This is gonna be good. Good morning! I'm outside because I have a mission. Uh, I'm going to walk two hours to Eiber and I've already been walking for maybe 30 minutes or something. I just love walking, you know me, and um, yeah, I just wanted to try like what it's like walking for a long distance in your own city. Usually I just go to the center, but now we're going um, yeah, to Eiber. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about it in a second. Ooh, the Eye Film Museum is really cool by the way. Um, yeah, I should take you one of these days because this is really cool to see. There was a request during New Year for uh, recommendations what kind of museums in Amsterdam are cool. Um, you can check out the Facebook post I made about this, but one of the museums I recommended was Eye Museum. If you haven't been there and you're here just for a day or maybe for a city trip or something like that, it's really cool to just go there and watch a movie. I'll take you there in a couple of days or something like that. You may have heard about the houseboats in Amsterdam, well, where people basically live in a house on the water. What you may not have heard is that this is really expensive. You might, I even thought like before I knew this, that this was like a cheaper way of housing and people, um, yeah, who basically couldn't afford a normal apartment chose to live on the water. No. This is really expensive. Okay, this one looks expensive, but even this one, it's very expensive to live in these houseboats. It's not cheap at all. See, these houseboats don't even look that fancy, but don't get it twisted. I think it's a common misconception, like with the people living in the slums in Mumbai. It was also mind-boggling for me to learn. It's not cheap to live in the slums in Mumbai. And I was like, what? Really? And it's the same case in Amsterdam. I don't know, they have this rule where you're not allowed to build tall buildings because they want to preserve like the... Um, I don't know how you say that. Like the, the, the view or something. But to be honest, there's a real housing problem over here. And I love tall buildings. I would just love it if they would make more tall buildings like the Double Tree Hilton or the Okura with a great view over the city so those are the only two sky bars that i know we have no 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 there's another one i think it's uh ramada inn or something but it's that one's quite far away like okura and double tree they're quite easy to reach and you have a fantastic view over the city if you haven't been there go 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 it's amazing crossing the amsel river as you can see it's very gray and gloomy Fortunately, it's not raining, but it's not warm at all. There are not that much people outside, but it's very peaceful and nice to walk besides the water. We're nearing Amsterdam East now, but I'll show you that in a minute. In the meantime, I am supposed to go to a Turkish store later on to buy some Turkish snacks because I'm filming a Turkish snack video, snack tasting video with Fadim on Monday and I completely forgot because I'm so freaking excited because her mom is also making some snacks but um, yeah it doesn't really resonate with my New Year's healthy resolution so that's gonna be my first YOLO day like on the 3rd of January <laughs> Oh, the irony. Oh well, I'm still freaking excited. And let's see what kind of Turkish snacks we can pick up later. From the top of my head, this is Linneustraat, which is quite famous because Theo van Gogh was uh, stabbed on the street, not right here, but like in this street. Over there, if you go down that way, there's um, uh, the Doppelmarkt, which is a really cool market. And if you go this way, you'll get to a park. But a uh, park Frankendal, I'm guessing. There are really cool stores here. Um, yeah, I might take you to East one day because it's a really cool neighborhood. I love it. I made it. It's a little more over two hours if you're walking, but nevertheless, I made it. Oh, look, there's a tram crossing the bridge over there. Oh man, I love this place in summer. I used to live here. It was really like the island vibes of Amsterdam. Oh my gosh, a Tesla car in the wild. Eh, eh, eh. 
car crash alert, car crash alert. Ooh, look at the handles. I love the door handles, man. Like, when you open it, it like, now, oh, it does work. Oh my gosh. I love this car. This car is so amazing. One day, man, hashtag goals. I am finished with my meeting now and let's go to the Turkish food store. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, Turkish bread and this bread thingy with sesame seed. <gasps> I love it, I want it all, but no, no, be healthy. Oh my gosh, all the Turkish cookies, snacks, things. Kill me now, I want everything. <laughs> Are at the burger place. Hello, hello. Long time no see. And there's someone here having a burger too. Get him, get him. So I'm having a burger on a salad. It's a goat cheese burger. Ooh, let me take a close up. Wait, look at this glorious food. Because I'm still on my healthy streak. He doesn't want to be healthy at all. Oh my gosh, I just realized I haven't been in the center ever since I came back. And look at this, look at this. It's almost like Diwali in Mumbai. It looks so cool. It, it, seriously, they never had these Christmas decorations before. It's really beautiful. Okay, I'll take you tomorrow to the center because it's really beautiful. Wow. Sky lounge by night. Best view of Amsterdam. Along with Okura Sky Lounge, but this is amazing. No, no, no. Actually, this is the best view of Amsterdam. Like, Okura has a good view, but it's not as fancy as this one. Look at it. Look, look, I did it right this time. So they had a tea on this lid, and I just poured it into the teapot the way you taught me. Bam, tea. Amsterdam Light Festival over there. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, the camera is really shaky, but I just want to point it out. Look, over here. Harry Potter part 6 Uh oh He wants to annihilate me <laughs> So let me just quickly tell you about my detox slash clean eating plan 